High school football teams officially returned to the field last week, but the 6A defending state champs from Cleveland High School opened the season this weekend. You know, I'm thrilled, uh, me and the guys, been chopping at the bit to get back at it. I'm really excited to get back out there, and for one reason, one reason only really was because I've told these guys no for so many months and just seeing that look on their face, it was, it was devastating for me as a coach, and it took a lot out of me, and finally to be able to tell them yes, we just taken every day for, for what it is and being thankful for it and not taking it for granted, and uh, we're, I'm excited to be around the kids more than anything. The Cleveland Storm won it all in 2019 and were built for a possible repeat run, returning nine starters on defense, all of their receiving core, and their starting quarterback. Instead, the pandemic forced all football teams to play a shortened season this spring. Their head coach says it's about perspective and a positive attitude. We told these kids to stay positive and be thankful for the opportunity you get. Uh, you can look at it one of two ways. One, we're not getting a full season. One, we may not get to defend our title or you can look at it as we get an opportunity to play. You know, we're blessed to even have the few games at this point. Um, you know, there was a possibility that we weren't going to play at all. So the fact that we get to play uh, even these very few games is uh, very much so a blessing. The Cleveland Storm will open their season against the Clovis Wildcats. These two played a high-scoring 56-43 thriller in the state semifinals in 2019. With the very few games uh, that we do get, we do want to play the best. Uh, to play a team like Clovis, um, very strong physical team, so we're just excited to get after it. It's not the team you want to see on your schedule first game right out the, out the gate. You know, we, have, we've had, we're, we will only have five days of team practice. You know, we, we just got together Monday for the first time, so uh, to say we're behind the eight ball is a vast understatement, but our kids are doing a good job. We're, we're, we're trying to get ready to play, and, and Clovis, you look at them top to bottom, they got athletes everywhere. They, they're coached really well, and... Uh, they're going to be a tough game. Regardless of the opponent or the number of games, they are happy to just be back on the field. When we step on the field Saturday, it's going to be a little bit surreal, and, and you're going to really realize what it feels like to put a headset on again and be in that environment. And We're excited to have fans there and just, and just get back to life again. We've all been cooped up in our homes for a year now, and we're tired of it. And it's been 16 months since we coached a football game. And, this is one of the best senior classes we've ever had at Cleveland High School, so excited to get back on the field with them. Kickoff is slated for 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon at Cleveland High School. Reporting for the New Mexico Activities Association, I'm J.P. Murrieta.